Today on The Real. Roll out the red carpet. Lonnie's back from the Emmys. That was such a blast! Then we're celebrating the return of Empire with Caitlin Doubleday. We just got an exclusive juicy. And some Empire looks for Lex. Plus, Brandy and Max Lux. For real. First up, I don't know about your house, but in this house, the day after Sunday is Dancing with the Stars yeah. Day! Yeah. You heard me, Team Valmar slayed it last week with her yes. quick step, and we are all dying for Miss Tay Tay to hit the floor again in just a few hours. I know! I'm so excited, it's so weird. You're so much fun to watch, Tay Tay. Thank you. Gosh. So, Tamar. Yes. How are you feeling about heading into tonight? Well, you know, I was feeling great until you just hurt my feelings. Why? You call it Team Valmar, you tried it. <laughs> it's called Team, Team Valentine, okay? Okay. okay. All right. Adrian, what's the number again to oh, vote? Okay, the number is 855-234-5612. Yes, yes. Great friends, right. <laughs> well, I, I'm a little nervous, I can't lie. And okay. I am doing the, I like the cha-cha. You Ooh, like the cha-cha? Okay, yeah. I'm doing the cha-cha. Nice. And I'm also doing a surprise dance that I'm not gonna tell nobody, you have to tune in and watch. No, 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 no. Not even us? Trust me, no, it's pretty that. iconic. You're gonna get your entire existence Wait, in life. Wait, the break dance. dance. You, you break it dance. Hey, Mom, we're your girls. You're supposed to give us a little bit of Are tea. Like a tiny a tea. Little? No twerking. It's no ballroom twerking. dancing, girl. That's why I signed oh, up. Oh, it's the ball. Okay. Okay. No, twer no twerking. Know but, no. I mean, it's every, ever, everything. Okay. Oh, I cannot wait. Well, yeah. I thought yeah. that you everything. looked so fly yeah. last night. Thank you. You are like the woman covered in diamonds. So elegant, so, so stunning. So I have to ask, so how does pretty. it work with the costumes? Like, do you have a say? Does Val have a say? Like, how does that work? You no, know, you have 100% say in what you want to wow. wear. You pick that. Except for me, because oh, I wow. have Val, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and, but, you know, I really appreciate it because, you know, first of all, he's, uh, I feel like we're, we mirror each other, right? Because okay. he's so mm -hmm. focused. Yeah. And so, you know, he already has an idea of what he thinks that I need to wear that week, and then I'll just go back in and tweak it. Okay, yeah, who just, picked you know, for it to be backless? Because like I said last yeah, week, yeah. your yeah. back was... Well, when I did the, um, you know, the, the commercial, Watch Me, the Watch Me yeah. Wet yeah. one, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had my back out. And, you know, it's a little attractive, <laughs> so I was like, well, let me not have my bag out. I'm glad that you noticed it's as fly as I think it is. You like I the back, but at, her, at the end, when your leg did that dip, yeah. and it came out between, like, the, the, the skirts, yeah. and it's it just, like, leg so and sexy. point, it looked like it was 10 feet tall. So what yeah, are you going to yeah. wear tonight? Give us the color, at least. Well, I, I'm only going to tell you one of the colors, okay? Okay. okay. It's like, it's gold. Oh, I love gold. Yes. Oh, that's super gold. Oh, emeralds. Oh, my God. Oh, emeralds. Really? Yes. Emeralds. Don't you, oh, don't you feel that right yes. now? Yes. Ooh. How long does Goosebumps. it take for hair and makeup? Huh? How long does it take for hair and makeup? You know, it actually doesn't take that long. Really? No, it's like an hour, the same amount of time oh, as it would take hair. But you know, you're working, like, for a job, yeah. Yeah. okay? I mean, how I mean, are you handling it? practicing and actually doing the show and then still doing our show because you committing 100 percent so how yeah. are you handling yeah. i promise like thank you guys that's such a hard work but woman. That's how i look at it i look at it like you know you know how you make time for things you really want to do yeah that's how that works okay. yeah so i really really want to learn how to dance you know and i really want to challenge myself because it's not easy i'm not talking about leaving here and going to rehearse not that part i'm talking yeah. about the actual dance okay you ever thought you could dance before yeah yes. and then you uh, no 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 you can't dance don't do that many times ah, it's, it's that it's yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Wow. So the what? challenge is real in these streets. Who, Who have you gotten close to since you've been there? This is just week two, yeah. but 
Um, of, oh. Out of all the other cast, because I think you would get close to Gary Busey, but you know, because <laughs> you he, said you know, he's mad funny. Oh yeah, he's hilarious. Uh, first of all, ev everybody is amazing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sweet, kind. Aww. There's no super duper divas. It, guess who I'm super duper cool with? I'm Ooh. Ooh. Damn, get myself together because I'm super excited about it. Mishaka Khan. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I love that. that. What she like? She's amazing. And do you want to know how she introduced herself? Yes, yes. Yeah. I met her in passing a couple times before, right? Mm -hmm. She stopped me home. She said, hey, baby, mm -hmm. I just want to let you know you have a fine voice. <gasps> Can you believe that girl? I was melting inside. Was like, girl, my ankles Aww. was shaking. My cankles was shaking. I said, what <laughs> happened was, okay, stay calm, stay calm, girl, stay calm. I was like, oh, really? She said, yeah, I was just listening to your album the other day. I was like, and so I was excited. Oh, you wow. should be with the girl. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm still rooting for you, but I'm also rooting for Gary, because I like him, <laughs> OK? That's my, well, that's, that's my cast me, too. Well, Tay Tay, you know we'll be rooting for you guys tonight. Yes, yes. We love yes. you so much. I love yes. you guys. Thank you Thank so you much. Guys. Yeah, I can't so wait. Cool. It's going to be amazing. Me, too. I okay. love it. Next up, you guys, have you ever wondered just how weird each state is? Like, what in the mean? country? Mm-hmm. No? Uh, OK, me. well. Let me Google that for you. Oh. Get this. A new study has blessed us with the top embarrassing Google searches oh. by state. Okay? Oh, wow. So oh. check out the map. These crazy searches range between anywhere from casserole recipe to third nipple. Uh, who, who's third nipple? I don't know. Wait, no, wait, people wait, wait, are wait. trying what? to see if they have a third it's nipple. It's over yes. here on this side of the table. I can feel the aura. Really? <laughs> Okay, well, I thought it was time we did our own study to see if you ladies could guess which state Googled what. It's a little game I like to call which state Googled what. <laughs> of course. <laughs> really creative. Okay. Really creative. Yes, that was really creative, right? You, you always do it. I just want to, I've always wanted to be a teacher, so Real here we go. Okay, 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 okay. here we go. Jeannie, things. you're up. What is Washington most ashamed of Googling? Kay. Is it A, front butt, B, socks and sandals, C, quantum physics. D, milkshakes that bring all the boys to the yard. <laughs> I want to say D, milkshakes that bring all the boys to the yard, because I have a lot of single girlfriends. I want them to go there if that's where they're at. Eh, no, oh. the answer is B, socks and sandals. Oh. Why'd you pick me for that question? Well, because, I don't know. I thought, you know, fashion, no, fashion something. Yeah, yeah, I thought maybe you'd know it. Because no, just a lot of Asian All right, OK, Tamar, you're up. That's all. Okay, OK, OK. All right. They what do. is Mississippi most ashamed of Googling? Is it A, STDs? Uh oh. B, feet photos? Uh oh. C, R. Kelly? Tried it. <laughs> or D, all of the above? Ooh. Now, Tam, I have to ask you a question because you didn't simplify this rule. Okay. So, is it more than one person or two people or three people at the most? It could be. Okay, so she's going to go with uh, D, all of the above. You are right. You are correct. <laughs> She's smart. I'm really, really smart. R. Kelly? Really? <laughs> Why are we? How would you know that? That's amazing. Because Tay Tay's smart. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, ladies, I need to know what's the most embarrassing thing you guys have ever Googled. Ooh. How to spell Nene. -nay. Really? Yeah. And real life? Really? What do you mean? Because I had a friend who I, I was making fun of her because I thought I could nanny, so I texted her, you thought you could nanny, you don't even know how to do it. And she said, girl, you can't even spell it. It's N-A-E, N-A-E, yeah, not N-A-Y. Oh, I thought it was so N-A-Y, too. That's what I thought, no, but no, I Googled no, no. it, and they came through for me. Uh-uh. <laughs> OK. Lonnie, what was know. the most embarrassing thing you've That's ever Googled? Uh, how to vote for Gary Busey. <laughs> See, okay. that's what I did. Because, I, you know, I like, I want, I know that my girl up here is gonna win, but he is so entertaining. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet. <laughs> okay. You're next, Me? Okay. Yes. Well. <laughs> okay, turkey legs in a crock pot. <laughs> what? Wait, what? That's not embarrassing. A little bit. It is? How like, to cook Because I'm a southern girl. I, I oh, should know how to know cook. That. I not do, but I didn't feel like it, right? Because you gotta keep going in the oven, uh -huh. putting, you know, chicken broth mm -hmm. and making, you're right. Yeah, and I just wanted chicken. Did I mean, you find a good recipe? I did. It was good. See? You see, you know why I'm mad at you? Because you know you can call Miss Evelyn, and she know how to cook everything. Sure. She's like That's cooking Google. Google. I, didn't tell, I didn't tell the truth, really. You didn't? OK. I well. mean, yes, I do. I did look up your turkey legs in the crock pot, but I, I like to Google food when I'm hungry. <laughs> you do? I like to look at the pictures. Why do you do that to yourself? Because the pictures give me satisfaction. 
Do you lick the picture? No, it helps me figure oh. out what I want to eat. Oh. What's the last Google food images? picture? What's the last food picture you Googled? I had a hot dog. Really? I didn't know I wanted a hot dog. I didn't know what I had a taste for. I love that same part with having a hot dog was looking at the picture. You know what I Google though, seriously, when it's food, is recipes out of brown liquor. That's what I Google. I didn't even know that was possible. I'm just letting you know that has a name and it is called food porn. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to switch gears a little bit. Okay. All right. What's the last thing you Google? Lonnie, Lonnie what's gets the real last funny. thing you guys Googled? And you have to be honest. I'm, I'm, being I'm gonna start quiet with Adrian. Over here for you are really quiet. Because I Google really weird things. What did you what did, uh -oh. Keep what did it you clean. Google? What did you Google? Well guys, ugh. somebody told me that um, Marquez the boxer, that he drinks his own pee. What are you Do you talking? say pee okay? Who is Marquez urine? the boxer? He's a boxer, and they said that. Guys, I can't make this stuff up. You're, You're in therapy. therapy. Supposedly, he drinks his first morning pee, wow. and I just, I wanted to know. Wow. Who are your friends? No, some, I'm not lying. No, but don't you lie. Like everybody has the audience. What kind of audience is like? Wait, wait, wait. So confirm. And I just wanted to know what the benefits were of this yes. urine therapy. Why, Why would you do food porn, Adrian? What was okay. the benefit? <laughs> it like makes him healthy and strong. Drinking and your own pee. God, I can't make this stuff up. It's I mean, not me. What's the craziest thing you I'm Googled? It's something with <laughs> a baby. Know. Well, it, it's not really crazy. I was just curious because um, I forgot the first time because I had a C-section with Aiden. I wanted to know. See? I wanted to know baby. when you could have sex after having <laughs> a C-section. I told you. That's a great That's thing. Not thing. Well, what did you say, Lonnie? I told you. Wait, when? When? What? I said, ask the doctor, and then call Dr. Lonnie, and then call Tamar, because she going to agree with me. No, I ain't got no C-section. No, I ain't no, no but you know, <laughs> yeah, well, so what was the answer? It's six weeks. That's a lot. I told you five. No, you, no, you didn't, Lonnie. I was close. That's a long time. It Hello. is a long time. Can somebody learn? So when is the right time to have it's sex? It's six, 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 six weeks. But I say five, because I think, OK, let wow. me preface this. This is not that's a medical. Long time. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm so saying. Long. This is not medical advice. This is Lonnie's advice because I think doctors. Okay, she let got me no this. No child. Don't listen to her. Please okay. don't listen but to Lonnie. But the point is, is that they tell you six weeks because they know you're gonna do it in four or five weeks, that's so they just put a little extra on it. Yeah, like, but okay. don't follow. That is silly. That's a little fact. Okay. Wow, well, thank you for life. that, Lonnie. You're welcome. Did you, you follow the rule? Did you get it on? Did you follow the rule? Yes, did I did. Get it on? Okay, Lonnie. <laughs> That's why you're glowing today. Okay. okay. Well, right. okay, you guys. Well, speaking of sex, we all have our hacks when it comes to remembering <laughs> our passwords. Stupid. But the recent <laughs> Ashley Madison hack oh, just exposed I the cheaters' it. passwords along with their email addresses. Wow. Oh no. Yes. Sinosure Prime collected the best ones, you guys, and, and they're they're pretty they're they're quite interesting. What are okay, they? Okay, check this out. Some of the guys' passwords were, I think I love my wife. Oh God, why are you doing this? Wow. Mm. And this one from a dude clearly in denial. His password was like, I'm really going to cheat. Wow. Um. These guys, I mean, they knew they were being bad, and they still did it anyway. Just but, so we're clear, is Ashley yes. Madison for men? I, I'm not aware of oh, that. Oh my God. No, I want to. I want to know because I you're think saying it's for he. Both. I think no. it's. No. I thought it was for both. People. It's just. Okay, yeah, so it could be he it or she. It was a she. website. He or she could have done those anybody passwords could though. Anybody join the website okay. and and basically the website was for people that right. You know wanted to cheat but We're they interested. still wanted to be married. Have affairs. And they set up an account and then what happened was there was a massive hack mm -hmm. and over 30 million accounts were compromised, and so now those accounts are coming out. Right, okay? right, yeah. So these are the passwords that they found out about. Yes. Were there mm -hmm. any passwords that said, I'm full of crap and I know it? <laughs> Seriously. Are you mad? I am. Why? A little. Because 32 million people cheating Over in relationships. Can we talk about this? Like, that's insane. 
And what? people committing suicide off of this. That is true. Wait, what? I think, though, yeah. is that yeah. nothing what's done in the dark is going to come out on the internet. That's and what I, that means. I think, Every time. Seriously. I think that's, that's definitely the lesson to learn. Now, a spoonful of sugar will not make this news go down any easier. I think uh. you guys know what I'm referring to. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Disney is working on a new live-action version of Mary Poppins. Were you guys into it then? Yes. I'm yes. obsessed with Mary Poppins. Okay, how about Me this? Too. It's going to be set about 20 years after the original. Oh. So Rob Marshall, the guy who directed Pirates of the Caribbean and Into the Woods, he's going to be behind the remake. So clearly, I'm all about Mary Poppins. I love this movie. The remake, what do you guys think about that? Uh, I want to be Mary Poppins. Oh, so you, are you, you excited do. about it then? Yes, no, you guys, I was obsessed with Mary Poppins. How obsessed? You would make a great Mary Poppins. Thanks, I wanted to be like the black version of really? Mary Poppins. Aww. Yeah, oh, obsessed. Super wow. Wow. Oh my God, that oh. was so good. Oh my God, that would be so good. Oh my God, that would be so good. That looks Wait. You guys, that, that's always been, yeah, it's right. like a dream of mine. I, I never, I never wanted to be Mary Poppins. No, why? No, I want her to be my nanny. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> She's the, she was the best, right? I still want her to be my nanny now, though. I'm 38. But What's I still the, want her to be I'll my nanny. I'll be your nanny. What would she do if she were your nanny? <laughs> oh. Mary Poppins. I would do nothing. Just chill. Oh, all day. I want to go fly a kite. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's okay. what I would I'm sorry, y'all. I fell asleep during Mary Poppins. No. What? Yes. No, first of all, you got to get sick. She can have a spoonful yes. of sugar. Yeah. Yes. yeah, I don't know about all that. And guys, I don't want them to remake it, though. I'm you sorry. Don't? I mean, unless it's going to be Tamara and she's like oh filling my a gosh, lifelong thank dream. You. Thank you. I just, I think like some of these things are classics and you shouldn't touch them. But what if it does come out good? Like, what if it comes out, what if it comes out amazing where people today would see it in a different light? No. I do like the idea that it's going to be 20 years. After, after the original. So, the so they're, they're, so they're not yeah. really yeah. messing okay. with the original. Do you so know the, what I mean? They're, so they're the kids, but how old is Mary Poppins? She was old during yeah. that time. No, no she, but Mary yeah, Poppins, she, like, Mary Jerry Poppins she didn't age. Yes, Look. she was. She did. Oh, she was magical. See, she I came from the sleep. sky. Remember, she came she from the cloud. In every way, Lonnie. Okay, if it's Perfect not Mary Poppins. In every way. If it's not yeah. Mary Poppins, what movie would you guys like to see remade? Ooh. You guys remember Clue? Yeah. Oh, yes. It could have no. happened this way, but maybe it happened this way. Heaving, heaving flames, yeah. heaving, see, nobody knows I this movie. I have no idea what you're Mrs. talking about. Mrs. White. <laughs> Wait, you guys never played the board game Clue? Oh, yes. Well, there was a movie, was and it had, Clue. yes. You was the only one, one to watch the movie. It was a really good movie. It was good. It was long. It was long. See? But it was good. It was you know great. what I would like to see remade today? What? what? Clueless. Can oh, you yeah. imagine? Oh, oh, that's Clueless a good would one. be good. What if we were the cast of Clueless? I would just want to say the line, not a total Betty, but a vast improvement. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Love that. What about for you? OK, have you ever heard of the movie called Claudine? Yeah. yeah. Oh! Oh, that's a good one. No. Listen, you need to get your life. What is this? That's a good one. Yeah, no, it's never James Earl it. Jones and Diane Carroll, and I'm telling when you right now. When did this movie come out? Like in maybe in the 70s. You don't I wasn't understand. born. You tried. No, no. You don't I understand. understand. Yeah. So you know. I don't know what and this the movie listen, is. But let me, it gets better because the soundtrack was just as good as yeah. the movie. Yeah. Okay? It was Gladys Knight. She sung all the songs, and Curtis Mayfield produced them all. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Mahogany. I, I like that Mahogany. one. Yeah. Mahogany. Yeah. Mahogany. Okay, okay. we can talk about this all day, seriously. Now, we could not be more excited for this. Fox's monster hit Empire returns with a vengeance yes! this Wednesday. Yes! And our first okay. guest plays Andre's feisty, power-hungry wife on the show. Mm. Put your hands together for Caitlin Doubleday. <laughs>
<laughs> now, on Empire, you are married to the infamous Lion Clan, but in yes. real life, you recently got engaged. I can see right there I on your did. beautiful walk. Oh my oh, God! Oh, nice. Beautiful, oh. gorgeous. You wow. can tell. You can tell Thank so you. much about a man yes. through the gorgeous. ring that he picks. I yeah, can tell. Yeah. Good job. You so did tell did us about the story. How did it happen? Well, actually, we were in Paris, which was amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. And I had to come back to New York to do work, so I left him there for like 48 hours okay. and did stuff for Empire. And we were getting ready for the yeah. you know next season and went back and the first dinner we had back he had scoped out places while he was there alone oh, wow. so like yeah and then I got back and we got engaged that night wow, wow. 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 I know I it's very nice. no idea. okay well I mean I was hoping that it would come and I was helping you know my friends look at rings <laughs> and okay. stuff. Yeah. but no I mean I didn't like no one it would exactly nice job happen. good yeah. job guys i know right in paris that's pretty not amazing. bad at that's, all i know yeah. romantic i know well we heard you you are a huge animal lover yes and you mm. have like a super crazy story yeah it's crazy that this is re-emerging now in my life okay it did happen 10 years ago oh, okay, with oh, your, okay. With your, with it's your the dog. same dog but okay. yes it got stolen we had to hire a private investigator these kids sold it to a drug dealer for ten dollars. <gasps> what? The drug dealer had the dog for weeks, and then randomly. You live in Compton? <laughs> Where do you live? <laughs> right. Wait, wait, no, what? this was near Larchmont, like in a nice neighborhood. That's a nice neighborhood. I know. Larchmont. It's crazy. So someone stole your dog I, out, of the, out of where I you live. I think I think the puppy got out, and oh, instead of calling the number, they were like, "Hey, this is a cute dog. Should we?" I wanted to smoke weed today. Let's trade our drug dealer <laughs> with, the, with this puppy. Like, okay. I think that's what happened. Okay. okay. The kids got arrested, but still, the drug dealer had the dog. So we yeah. were like, "You guys arrested the wrong people." Oh, wow. wow. Right. So then I had to. Pri we hired a private investigator. I would go to the kids. This is a long story. The, okay. the parents of the kids, I uh, worked on Larchmont, and I would go there every day and be like, please just give me the number. I was a crazy person. I wouldn't wear shoes and literally hadn't eaten. And it was like wow. your kid being gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And wow. there was this old man that said, oh, I'll help you get your, your dog back. And he, he basically, we got a call two days later yeah. saying, hey, uh, I think we might have your dog. And this guy, this old man that had just been released from the hospital said, I used to work in Marcos's Secret Service. <gasps> they, I hate drug dealers. And I'm gonna get you your dog back. And he like called Good and job. threatened this guy and got me my dog back. Good job. Good job. It doesn't even feel real. It was insane and intense the whole time. Wow. I'm glad you got you know what? Now, Empire I is know. the biggest show right now. Wow. You know, we get about 2 million viewers, but 17 million it's viewers. Insane. It's like a phenomenon. Has your life changed? Yeah, I mean, I go to Starbucks and they give me my Starbucks for free. Oh, and then oh. Like, oh that's a nice perk. <laughs> yeah. And then they'll write on the cup, we love you, Rhonda. And oh, it's, that's sweet. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Or I used to, you know, after the season one aired and I had that racy scene in Curlers and a Bib. I saw that. I would go to my auditions and still wear curlers in my hair and I actually felt like dirty. I was like, I shouldn't be out in public in these. <laughs> you know? Probably I not. like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's my turn because I can't hold it no more. Yes, okay, 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 okay. So Empire is my favorite show. Oh, and I have questions, girl. Yeah. Okay. Now, last season ended with a cliffhanger, all right? Uh-huh. And your character, Rhonda, <laughs> you're not only pregnant, but you killed Lucy's business wow. partner. I know, I know, Vernon. Okay, Vernon. Uncle Vernon. So can you, can you tell me a secret? What, what, what? Okay. Don't expect okay. the season. Okay, okay. Well, the one thing that I have been saying is that they're going to break up season two into two parts, so it's not so much long. You don't have to wait so long between the episode. Okay, got it. Which got is it. nice. So it'll be like 1 through 10, a couple months off, 11 through 18, a couple no, no, months no, off. No, 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 But it's better than waiting like seven months for a new season, isn't it? Yeah, that is true. Yeah. yeah. Okay, all um, right. Put it like so, that. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah, so basically, so, and plus you get two huge cliffhangers, right? Okay. You're okay. always going to end deal. with that. And I will say that one of them involves Rhonda again. Okay. Wow. Really? Yeah. We can deal with that, right? And, like, I don't know why she's attracting this drama, okay. but it's going to be another we so last night was a wild one, you ladies. I went to hang out on the red carpet at the Primetime Emmy Awards. Woo! And these elbows were rubbing. These elbows.
Apples was rubbed by the biggest celebrities that I even caught a few of their names afterwards. Do y'all want to see? Yes, yes. of course. All right, yes. take a look. This is the fabulous, the funny Allison Janney. We love Allison Janney at the real. Ah, keeping it real. Have you seen Idris Elba on the red carpet tonight? No. Is he looking at me? Now see, Allison, I'm looking for him. If you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. Hi, my love! Oh my goodness, I love her! What are you wearing tonight? I'm wearing Christian Siriano today. Thank you look you. absolutely beautiful. I just love the real. She look good. Work it, girl, work it. Amy! It's Lonnie! Amy! Hey, the real. It's Mark Burnett. Glad to be here. We're America. keeping it real. I'm glad I didn't wear that dress. I almost wore her dress. How are you tonight? You tranny! <laughs> what do you mean? Last! We just had Terry Crews come, and now we have Mr. Andre Bra. Congratulations! Uh, thank you. I can't follow Terry, so I just want to <laughs> let you know that. In case I meet Idris. Look at Pablo. He's still talking. He's still here. I think he got the hots for me. In that Brooks brother suit. I'm so happy you stopped. I love you. I love you. You gonna flirt tonight? Well, I'm a girl. I'm engaged, so I don't think there'll be any flirting. You can still flirt. You're so cute. I want to get you in trouble. Good. Hi, the real. I can't talk in a hug. I love you. Love All right. You too. Our girl, our sister, friend of the show, Miss Monique and her husband Sydney is here. Hey, Miss Lonnie Love. How are you? Listen, you know I want to do our part from Soul Plane right now, right? Blue, blue. <laughs> blue, blue. Uh, have y'all seen Idris Elba on the red carpet? Listen, if I see him, I'm going to tell him to stay away from you because I know you got your tackle ready. And I'm not going to let you tackle that man out here on this carpet, Lonnie. Have you seen him? Idris. Anybody seen him? Mm, nobody's seen him. Beautiful. There were so many deserving winners. Wow. I had a ton of fun representing us, the real, at the after parties, Ooh. being chased out by security. I'm oh, sorry, y'all. No way. It was a night to remember, oh, though. Yes. Oh, okay. She's a singer, a songwriter, and an actress. He's one of the top music producers in the game. Together, they're the hot Hollywood power couple that just joined the new season of VH1's Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Check it out. The wife of Max Lux, the wife, not the girlfriend. You ready to hit the stoop? Which means there's probably gonna be girls around. My name is Max Lux, and I'm the hottest producer in LA. But sometimes it's hard to concentrate on my music when I gotta deal with my crazy wife. If it was girls at the studio, they're not for me, so you don't have to worry about them. Can you call me every four hours? I no can't call what? you every four hours, but I'm gonna call you. When I was 16, my curfew wasn't even called every four hours. You have something to hide? Brandy and Max. recently celebrated your birthday. Mm -hmm. Happy yes. belated. Yes, Happy birthday. thank you. you How did I celebrate? Well, my mom, my grandma, my sister, my wonderful husband, my baby, we all just pieced it out, looked at the ocean, oh, wow. danced, played some of my godmom's music, Ooh. and just vibed out. You know, it was uh, another age up. 31, so. Um, oh, honey, you're just, still, that's oh, still young. Exactly. Oh, exactly. But you know, as women, each yes. year it gets real, yes, right? That the is real? True. Exactly. That is true. <laughs> okay, for all of you who don't know, Max is a really big deal in the music industry. He's an award-winning producer who produced Lil Wayne's How to Love, right? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to show you how to love, you know? <laughs> so, Max, how did you start? Uh, I got into the music industry when I was younger. My uncle was producing with Death Row, okay. and he used to bring me around, and I just 
started wanting to be like him. Okay. Wow, that is so dope. <laughs> well, Brandy, you just mentioned that you celebrated your birthday listening to your godmother's music. Your godmother was Whitney Houston. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I know that you were very close to Bobby Christina. And just last week we had Bobby here, Bobby Brown. And um, how are you doing with everything? Um, it's, it's never real, but, you know, it's life and you can't, Every day is a different day. You know, I might be laughing and we're vibing and then tears, you know. My, my little sister, uh, she just got diagnosed with MS and she oh. was also very close with Chrissy. Their birthdays are a day apart. So it's kind of like a, a bunch of stuff on top of a bunch of stuff and it, it's negative and it hurts, but the positive in it is that they're with God and there's no better place to be with the peace that they can get with him. Of course. We yes. can't provide that. Yeah. Great way to see it. Yeah. Well, you guys have a new chapter yes. in your life that's just begun. So let's talk about that. You yes. guys have just joined the cast of Love and Hip Hop, Hip -Hop. Hollywood. What yes. made you guys <laughs> want to do that show? Well, let's just say he loves me. Okay. So, that part. But for me, I feel like we naturally live love and hip hop every day of our okay. life. Mm -hmm. So with a camera or without a camera, it's going to be what it's going to be. So a camera to capture the moments, and I thank them for the moments because it's really like a big free therapy session. And I'm oh, wow. able to get it off sometimes in a scene, you know, <laughs> say some things that, you know, I maybe didn't want to say before, but I'm oh. like, Oh, I, get that, Becky. Excuse me. Uh, you know, you can actually, <laughs> yeah, you know, before you, you know, what I love about love and hip hop is, you know, there's no filters. You know, it's, okay. it's real. We keep it 200 and sometimes it's a good day and sometimes it's a bad day, but we are growing. We're a young married couple and it's not easy. And it's your way to just vent, to vent. get it all get out. Get it out. Get, okay. You know? So, you know we can't talk about Empire without talking about nope. fashion, honey, because these <laughs> yes. girls are beat my God, Woo! all right? <laughs> but let's be straight up, all right? We all don't have Lucia's Lions coins, all right? So today, we're checking out some inspired Empire looks. So fierce, so affordable. It's going to put you in an Empire state of mind. <laughs> Everybody, this is Paulo Niedo. Oh, I feel Ooh. like I got a bunch of coins when I say that name. <laughs> He's a genius behind all the fashions we see on Empire. Hello. Welcome, Paulo. Thank you. <laughs> So people are so obsessed with the clothes just as much as they are with the show. Why do you think that is? I think people just love over the top glamour and yes. you know seeing style on television. Yeah. And yeah. you know, I think there's a character for everybody. Absolutely. That's true. I agree. Well, That's you know, true. let's see some of these looks for less. Our first model is channeling Boo Boo Kitty. I love Boo Boo Kitty. I don't care what nobody say. Come on out, Boo Boo Kitty. <laughs> Subtly sexy, you know, it's very classic, solid colors, very body conscious, but you know, still still demure, except okay, when she turns talking. around. I hear what you're talking, but how much does it cost? Boo Boo Kitty's dress is from Filthy Rags and it costs $78. No, yeah. no way! Yeah. No way! You wow. better work. Yeah. Wow. Is that a plus size too, yeah. 78? I think so. I don't know. Damn. Wow. <laughs> you look amazing. Oh, you amazing. You killed that girl. Kitty. Let's uh -huh. keep it going. Our next model is rocking a look that's inspired by the emperor of empire, Lucius Lyon. Woo! You know, Lucius is Lucius is an artist as well as a businessman. So he doesn't dress so, you know, not the usual suit and tie. So we do a scarf instead of a tie, you know, a cool I like color. That scarf. Classic, you know, a shirt with a little bit of detail instead of just well, a basic. Well, well, shirt. well, there's nothing so. like a well-dressed man. Yes. That okay. is well dressed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Valentine 
much this cost? Lucius's suit is from Zara, and it only costs two hundred dollars. Wow! wow. Woo. Okay, it's okay. really good. Funny. What? <laughs> and he's feeling it too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He sure look alike. Right. Go on over there. All right, right. you got your moment. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you guys gotta know who the last look is, right? Who do you think? That's right, it's Mama Lion herself, Cookie! Okay, let's see it, come on out. Woo! Yeah. 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 So, you know, yeah. Cookie does, you know, Cookie is, is a risk taker, and so, you know, she is risk taking in her fashion choices. So you can mix sequins with print, you can mix metallics, you can mix Life. silver with gold. There are no rules when right. it comes to having fun with your clothes, and that's classic cookie. Mm -hmm. I love that. All right, now this looks super expensive, so how much are we talking here? This is only $178. Woo! No way! Under $200. Cookie skirt is from Macy's, and it only costs $40. Wow! No way! They just stepped off of the set of Empire. Am I right? Yeah. Check them out one more time.